Hi everyone, so in this video we will learn how to add or remove event listener using JavaScript. So let's get started. Let's have a basic HTML structure here. A link to our style sheet. Add the script file at the bottom which is script.js. We need two buttons. So let's make it add, just copy and paste, make it remove. We need one h1 element text will be output give it a id of add give it a id of remove now just save it go to style sheet select body element text align will be center select div element display will be inline block Select the button element, padding will be 10 pixels and 20 pixels. I just save it, open this file in the browser and this is the output. Now let's try to understand what will actually happen here. On the click of this add button, I want to add event listener that will be mouse move event and on the click of this remove button, I want to remove that event. So let's go to JavaScript file. let's make it btn add we'll select it by the id just copy and paste make it remove same goes here let's make it output i will select by the element name which is h1 element Add the event listener to the add button. Event will be click. This will be the handler function. Just copy and paste. And this will be remove. As I said before, we are going to use mouse move event. So here it will be document dot add event listener. Event will be mouse move this will be the handler function let's make it handle event okay just copy and paste it here and make it remove event listener now we need that function so it will be function handle event here we'll get the event object in this function we'll display the mouse coordinates so let's make it output dot inner text Let's make it X and we'll use the event object here. It will be page X. This will be page Y. Now just save it, go to browser. Now click on this add button, you can see we are getting mouse coordinates. The moment when you will click on this remove button, the event will be removed and you will no longer get these mouse coordinates. You can try again, see, click and it's working absolutely fine. So to add an event, make use of add event listener. To remove an event, make use of remove event listener. Also you must make sure you always provide one external function in case of a remove event listener because if you provide some anonymous function here, that function will never be executed. You can have an anonymous function in case of a add event listener, but not in the case of remove event listener. I hope you got the point how it actually works. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.